to a new episode of Sims and a series we have not seen in what must be months. This is a special episode, a return to the Broken Dream series. This is Broken Christmas. If you guys didn't watch Broken Dream, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a second. But I'm super excited as well because today is festive Friday, which means I get to give a Christmas gift to you guys. That is exactly what we're going to be doing today. And I have a really, really, really amazing gift for you guys today. So Nokia Mobile have actually very kindly offered up today's brilliant festive Friday gift which is a Nokia 8 phone. So this is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful looking phone. It runs on Android. And Nokia Mobile have said that they're putting a lot of effort into the design, the quality, and basically just a brilliant user experience for this amazing little phone. And the best part of the new Nokia 8 is the flagship camera, which actually has a dual sight mode, which lets you take a picture of the front and back simultaneously. So you can do split screen photos and videos and kind of share both sides of the story. And also the cameras are 13 megapixels front and back so you should get some really amazing pictures with this and it's been co-developed with Zeiss Optics so I want to give it a go I want to see what this dual mode is like so you can see me and my setup in this cheeky little selfie oh my gosh so this is the dual optics mode that is actually insane so you're gonna be able to see me at the bottom and my setup at the top <laughs> okay this is quite fun you get my webcam view at the top and then you get the camera view at the bottom and i can also like take a picture of my lighting and show that, that the lighting in my room makes a much better picture i'm basically having a little bit too much fun with this i'm not gonna lie to you guys the grind is real <laughs> it's on my coffee cup but it's also all over my face as well there you go guys i really really awesome awesome festive Friday. The screen on this phone as well is really, really nice. Like, it helps it's got a beautiful space background. I'm like, I can see like every star. It's just gorgeous. So yeah, this is a brilliant, brilliant gift. And big thank you to Nokia Mobile for letting you guys have the chance to win it in today's festive Friday. So if you want to win this Nokia 8, head to the link in my description below, which will link to my Twitter. I'm going to be doing a tweet on there the same way that I've done with previous festive Fridays. And if you guys want to win, all you have to do is make sure you're following my account and then just retweet that tweet. And I will do exactly as I have done in previous festive Fridays where I jump on, find you guys using a random number generator for the winner and then dm you and as i've done with a few of you so far had a nice little chat with you while i'm telling you that you've won a christmas gift as part of festive friday so make sure you enter if you want to get your hands on this awesome nokia 8 and guys let's play some broken christmas sims 4 So this is where today's episode is actually gonna be over here in the Villa Real family. But we have to get there first. I'm gonna go back to the dream house and we're gonna get Emma to drop little Lilith over for her Christmas day at the broken Christmas house. <laughs> Oh no, Ali's in his pants again! For God's sake, Ali! For God's sake, Ali Bear! Also, you've noticed I've actually finally, finally got MC Command Center running. I actually was up till 2 a.m. last night with um, a Discord group full of people that helped run the mod, and they finally helped me figure out some of the stuff that was causing issues with the game. Believe it or not, it was actually the previous counter we had in the bathroom here. So I have had to switch the counter out. But we now have MC Command Center. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oops, oops, we have lights going through the ceiling. I don't think so. So that means, oh my God, they're still there. <laughs> there we go. So with MC Command Center, I can do a lot more stuff. And one thing about this game that really bugged me is if you were two teenagers, you were in love, you've been in love your whole life, and then you actually became uh, young adults, it would just completely forget you ever had any romance. So I've changed that so that teens and young adults can now date. I know some of you may might be like, oh, you can't have teenagers and young adults dating, like that's so gross, Claire. But really, it means like a 19 year old and an 18 year old dating, or an 18 year old and a 22 year old dating, or something like I don't think that is that weird. Like, that is basically Ali and I's age difference. So, I don't think that's that weird. I don't think that's, I think that's normal. I think that's fine. So, I am gonna be potentially making use of that little, little extra little nugget we can do there. So, both of these guys, for some reason, are in their workout gear. I'm not really quite sure why, but that's fine. Look at that, Max and me. So, she's still selling volume uh, three three, four, and five. Still getting some royalty reports through from those. But right now, she does need to go and drop off little Lily Bear round at Max's house. So, 
Why don't we change into a nice outfit? You know, this is your ex. You want to look good. Why don't you pop this little outfit on? And then, Lily Bear, you've just got your regular old daytime outfit. So why don't you... Don't change into nude. You want to look trendy. Why don't you put this outfit on here? This is probably my favorite outfit of hers. And then we need to do a little bit of traveling over to little Maxarino's house. So I think it makes sense that her mum would be the one that would go and drop her off there. So I'm going to do it that way around. And it also just gives Emma a chance to kind of like... Lilith hasn't had the most amazing time when she was in the Broken Dream house. To be fair... Emma was a great mum. She tried her best, but her dad in particular was not amazing. So this is going to be a little bit of a shock for her because obviously the house will have changed a little bit as well. And she has a new baby brother called Abel who has actually, I don't know if you guys have spotted that, he has aged up into a child at the same time as Lily Bear has aged into a teenager. So we'll get to meet him and kind of chat with him a little bit more and see what he looks like too. I have a feeling though he looks like a mini Max, you guys. So here we go. This is the Villarreal house. They've got the Christmas decorations up at least. I think maybe um, Emma just gives her like a little bit of a reassurance, you know, just she just kind of whispers yeah. like, you know, this isn't going to be the easiest time in the world for you, but I know you can do this. I know you can do this. And I also need to go to work. That's who's ringing me right now. So we'll, we'll hang off on work for a moment. Let's just knock on the door and get ourselves inside. Lily Bear, you're in for a little bit of a strange Christmas. This isn't actually Christmas time. It's the week before Christmas. So, you know, she's not spending Christmas without all of her like dream house family, but she is spending the week before there. And I think they'll still do like a little bit of a Christmas meal and stuff for her at least. I like the wreath on the door, you guys. They've done a good job on the wreath. And there we go. Come on inside. So, who is at home? Max is sleeping on the couch. To be fair, if you remember, Max works nights. And there we've got Elsa, who's Max's new wife. So I think I think Emma would be polite. Like, we know that Emma is like a nice sim. So she's done a polite introduction to her. And look at this. They were actually friends as adults. So they do have that little bit going for them already. Oh, look at that. Lily Bear saying hello to little Abel as well. Should we have a little nosy Abel? So he's in his jammers at the moment, but he is. He is the spit of Max, you guys. You can't deny that Abel is literally Max's face. But what cool the hair like he's young he's trendy i actually think potentially he could get along quite well with connor but by the looks of it he's just strolled out of bed on a sunday at 11 a.m in the morning so you know i do think that maybe emma should just say you know a little bit maybe we just wake up max and just say a quick hello she's making polite conversation with elsa i actually don't think she's got a problem with elsa at all they were friends as kids they seem to get on fairly well and then before she leaves she might as well Oh, look at that. There was a bit of weird hatred going on between them both Well, then. I don't know why, but they seem to have at least put their differences aside because they need to get on well. For little Lily Bear, I asked her to offer him some gratitude. So I think she's going to do that. And then she probably needs to head off to work. She's giving him a little hug. A little hug. Max and Emma, they just became good friends, which is nice. That is nice. But then I think you do need to head to work now. So why don't you head off to work? Little Emma, you've dropped Lilith off. She is here for a while now. Okay, and then we're going to... Oh, I almost added Emma to the family. We're going to add Lilith to this family for a while. So there we go. This is our little squad that we're playing with at the moment. I don't know why else is just on the floor doing press ups but okay and i think maybe they start things off like just to get on quite well why don't we go out for a nice little spot of lunch together because right now already they seem really distant like that family sat there just watching tv like seem really getting on really well everyone's really happy and then poor little lily bear is like sat by herself doing her homework i don't want them to be really distant and look at this I feel like this must just suck for her because like he does seem to be a much better parent when it comes to Abel. I feel like Abel's had like a much more like well-adjusted childhood. I think Lilith, Lilith as a teenager is probably going to act out a little bit just because of how the whole childhood was. Oh, look at this though. Max is helping her with his homework. Whereas Abel's not had any of that. He's had a nice life and he's probably going to grow up to be a nice kid. So yeah, I think Max is going to treat everybody to go out for a nice little spot of food together. Oh my gosh, look at all the people he hates. <laughs> wow. Wow. He hates so, so many people. Max does still have the evil trait, you guys. And look at that. He doesn't even really like... He has a really high romance. There's a lot of chemistry between him and Elsa. But they, he actually likes Emma as a person more than... Then he likes Elsa. Maybe they just kind of, there's a really great like romance chemistry between them both. So they've had a kid out of it, but there's not that much actual likeness between the two of them there. They look like a family though. That's the weird thing. Like the four of those guys look like a family. So they've all come to the restaurant together, but the thing is the only restaurant they can really go to if they want to avoid like seeing Salma and James. 
which I think they would do because James and Max don't like each other. Is the same restaurant that Emma and Max had the whole flirtation. And of course, Lilith was there. And I actually think that Lilith, as a lot of teenagers would do, they don't really understand the complexity of like adult relationships. And they'd probably end up sort of hating the uh, the new wife a little bit. It's like a parent trap thing. She wants Emma and Max to get back together. So she's throwing shade at Elsa quite a lot. And you've got to remember as well that Lilith is Max's daughter and she inherited some of his nast not nastiness, but she is classed as a hot headed sim. So she's definitely got some of that Max attitude. Like, look at her face. She even looks sassy and she's fully making fun of Elsa who I don't think can really handle the banter that she's throwing her way right now. But this is like tough for Elsa because she has to be like the adult about things and not let like Lilith get to her. But I think she is. I think it is getting to her a little bit. Max is just like, like he probably enjoys it because he likes mean interactions. Little Abel's just like walking away from the table. Oh, that is going to annoy Lilith though. She can just keep blowing kisses at Max across the table. That is going to get Lilith in such a bad mood because she's like, that should be my mom. I saw how you were with my mom as well. Like she saw the whole thing and how flirty they were being. Oh, yep. Yeah, she does not like that. She does not like that, you guys. Also, do you like that we've got like me and Lilith from matching with our little roses? Oh, look how mad she is about the fact that they're blowing kisses. She is actually fuming, you guys. This does not say good things about the whole Christmas day together. They are full on yelling at each other across the table right now. And actually, people in the restaurant have noticed how much drama is going on at this table. They are still arguing. Max is just oblivious. He's actually just oblivious. And he's actually making fun of them both. This is not a great start to the Christmas period. I feel sorry for Abel. Poor little Abel. He's never known such nonsense. She, look, she's angry because she lost an argument but also because flirty spouse, while this has all been happening and they've been arguing, that woman came over and started flirting with Max. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think like, cause Max is a little bit of a cheeky one, we'll get some nice wine. I think he would let Lilith like, don't tell your mom, you can have a glass of wine. I think that would definitely happen. And then we'll just get some little OJ for poor little Abel. And then let's dig into some nice food. So maybe spaghetti for this one, sweet and sour eggplant for this one, some butternut gnocchi for this one, and spinach and mushroom quiche for this one. I have not selected any of those, have I? There we go. I've done the ones I said. Oh, look at her, she's flirting. Like, actually, she's flirting with him. And he is not liking it. But he's in a really flirty mood because she put him in one. This is not Elsa's day. She is fuming. She is like so, so angry and jealous. And look at that. This woman needs to leave. Tell her to go away. Her entire like love for Max just disappeared in a heartbeat. And I didn't even tell him to do that. Why is he flirting with her? She needs to just go away. But like, he even says it's an awkward encounter. So why has she just come over and started flirting with him? Who even is this woman? Okay, I think Elsa, we need to get Elsa to get this woman to go away. And then these poor people have just lost their relationship entirely. Oh, poor little Abel. I think we make sure that Lilith and Abel build up their relationship a lot. But this is just so classic broken dream. Everyone arguing, everyone being mad at each other, drama happening. This is just, this was like every episode of Broken Dream, I swear. This is just the way that it was. It's just usually it was poor Emma getting the brunt of Max's evilness, whereas this time it's Elsa. Lilith is still feeling pretty salty at Elsa as well. Every now and again, she'll just turn to her and like throw her some shade. And look at this, look at this. Elsa actually hates Lilith. <laughs> Dislike this relationship is tense. Things are likely to go awry. You have got to feel a bit sorry for Elsa because she's there, like allowing Emma to, uh, allowing Lilith to stay with them during the Christmas period. And Lilith just teasing her. She was making fun of her clothes, literally parent trapping them so hard. Look how mad! Like she's so mad. Lilith's like she doesn't even care. She's actually laughing at her. The disrespect is strong. So the food has come. These two little cutie pies here are actually having a nice little brother and sister laugh, which is nice. They've got their wine, which, oh, wow. Bright lights have just come on, which I don't think is going to do much for the whole argumentative state. Everybody's in a glass of wine. It's probably going to add a little bit of fire to that mix. But I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully the relationships here can be salvaged, but I'm kind of thinking they can't. 
<laughs> I, I don't know what kind of story Lilith's telling, but it's pretty extreme. Oh. Everybody's kind of finished their food. Oh, wow, Quite Elsa you. did not like it. Oh, they're making fun of each other again. Okay, this meal has not gone to plan, and Lilith's got a few more days that she's meant to be staying over at the house. I don't even know where she's going to stay at the moment. So I think we wrap things up and we go home. So I thought we'd just check out the uh, Broken Dream little Christmas decorations. They've got a nice tree over here. They've got nice like, little stuff on the window. They have, look, they've even got this on the table. They've made quite a good little effort, you guys. They've got candles and stuff here. And then let's have a look at the rest of their house. So this is like where Max and, ooh, I think they were having some sort of deep chat there. This is where Max and um, Elsa stay. He's got a sad clown on his wall, which kind of sums up his life. Not gonna lie to you guys. And then around the Christmas tree we go. This is the bathroom that Emma would sometimes go to cry in. Memories. And then in here is little Abel's room. So he's got a bunk bed. There's no other rooms in this house. So I kind of think that this is probably where Lilith is going to have to stay as well. And I know that those beds are considered uncomfortable for adults. So I don't think she's going to have the most comfortable stay while she's here, which is a shame. So I think Max is kind of trying to make it up a little bit after that woman came over and flirted. And I think Max did sort of flirt back a little bit. So he's trying to make it right. He's trying. Oh, look, we're looking at him in the mirror now. He's having a little chit chat with Elsa. These guys apparently have great chemistry, but that's kind of all they've got going for them. And I think it's working. I think he's getting back Water into her good book. I mean, when he wants to be, he can be He can be very flirty, you guys. And look, Elsa is like putty in his hands. So I think he's pro she's, he's probably going to get forgiven for like his nonsense at the dinner table. And also, I think it's kind of bad that when uh, Lilith was being really mischievous with uh, Elsa, he wasn't kind of saying like, Lilith, don't do that. This is my new wife. You have to respect her. He was just kind of laughing along. But that's because Max has the evil trait, you guys. That is because he has the evil trait. He actually enjoys watching mischievous and mean interactions. So I think we can definitely say that Max has wormed his way back into Elsa's good books. Their relationship seems just fine again. So I don't think Lilith's parent trapping has worked in this instance, you guys. I don't know. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Okay, wow. I think things... Yeah. Things are definitely fine in the Max and Elsa camp. We'll leave them too. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave you guys to it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the... What? what? I've never, ever had this happen before. Why did that just happen? What? They were in the middle of woo-woos? What? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I've never ever, ever had that happen before. In the whole time I've played Sims 4, I was just watching these two watch TV and I'm like, what is that noise? She got freaking abducted by aliens. Are you actually kidding me? Why has that just happened? Why, why is having woo-woos with Max made her be abducted by aliens? That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Okay, was not expecting that, you guys. Literally was not expecting that. That's really, really, really weird. But I think she just told her uh, little Abel to go clear up the mess he just made. And he actually did. I actually think these little two cutie pies get on really, really well together as well, which is nice. Look at the hatred for Elsa. I literally look at that hatred. That is bad. That is really bad. Especially considering that Emma actually does get on with her quite well. <gasps> I think she's back. I think she's back. And she's really angry. Very angry. What just happened? Oh, bless. Little Abel's coming to... um. Lilith for advice about making friends. Just keep being friendly, little kiddo. What has happened to her? Zapped and jolted. Whatever those aliens did, it really messes with the head. She's come back being completely satisfied from the woo-woo with Max, but she's also come back being really, really angry. I'm not surprised she got abducted by aliens. Can we just put that out there? I don't know why that happened at all. Does this lot have like a trait? An alien trait? No, it's got no traits. I don't understand. I don't understand you guys. I do know though that it's getting pretty late. So although you three hanging out together, even though you are topless, Max, which is a little bit strange, you three hanging out together is really, really cute. Is this only your first night in the house? I think you all should go to bed, okay? Okay, so these two have gone to bed. <laughs> in their little sad bunk beds. I actually have no idea why she just got abducted by aliens. I just find that so weird. So, so weird. Max has gone to work, so that leaves Elsa at home on her own, just kind of raging around, reading books and stuff. She's also sent an angry text to Emma about, like, her daughter's behavior, saying, Lilith was really naughty tonight, and she's so mad. Mad about crabs as well, apparently. I mean, they are snippy little guys. 
Okay, I think you need to head to bed as well. Poor Mark's going to work at this time. Like, literally, look at his work hours. He is now an anonymous ghost. He has to work from 1am to 10am. And let's have a look at his overall sort of public enemy status. We already had done um, the three declared enemies with him. He has advanced his career in the meantime, so he's level 8. So the only thing Max has left to do to complete his evil status and therefore become a good sim, which is what we really want him to be, is to witness the death of a sim. Which is why really Max can never be good, because he either has to be there when someone dies, which is really tough, or he has to kill someone, which if you kill someone, can you ever really be good? That's what I'm thinking. This little one is up cooking some breakfast for her and new best bro ever. These guys have like such a nice relationship. They're always like trying to go over and hug and chat with each other, even though they don't know each other super well. So I like that a lot. And Elsa has woken up still in a really bad mood. I think because she got abducted by aliens while she was still feeling angry about the flirty spouse, that one's not going anywhere because I don't think she should still be mad about that. <laughs> But she most definitely is. Abel has gone to school. You need to go to school as well. She's actually like chit-chatting with Charlie Rose on the PC, but you do need to head off to school. I kind of get the vibe that Lilith is one of those teenagers that really wants to grow up, probably a lot faster than she should too. Look, I mean, look at how she's dressed. She definitely does. And she chit-chats with Charlie Rose about her like grown-up life and wishes that she could have it as well. <gasps> oh my gosh, now she just wet herself. I don't know why she's wet herself because there's a toilet like right there. I'm kind of getting the vibe that Elsa's a bit weird. <laughs> she's a bit of a nutcase. Like, she seems so normal from the outside. But she's she's got a weirdness about her, you guys. She's definitely got a little bit of a weirdness about her. Like, she just rages about these things that she sort of allows to happen to herself. You're weird. Poor Maxi Pie is home from work. He's feeling absolutely shattered. And I'm not surprised because he's been working all night. What horrible work hours. I feel for the guy. Go have a little sleep for yourself, okay? Oh no, look, look, look. The first flirty spouse thing is almost gone. Okay. That is definitely a good sign. It's almost gone. And now she's just really embarrassed from peeing herself. She actually ducked herself under the water then. And now she wants to go hide from everyone. But she also wants to go hide from, from everyone in the bed where the only other person in the house is. So, you know. That doesn't really make a great deal of sense, but okay. I mean, Max is literally right there. He's gonna know that you're really embarrassed. He looks so peaceful and sweet when he sleeps. And then all the rage comes out when he's awoken. Although, in the entire time we've been here, he's been really, really nice. Like, really nice the whole time. Okay, so I think she's trying to cheer herself up with some TV, but she's pretty miserable. <laughs> She is pretty miserable. It's got like a nice little Christmassy house and she's just miserable. And who is this? Who is this? Oh, I think little Emma has come to check in on how things are going. Although she's got absolutely no chill in how long she's waiting. And she's actually gone off for a run. Okay, bye. She's just kind of invited herself inside, which is a little bit weird. And she's talking to a doll. I kind of forgot. I forget sometimes that Emma does that. But Elsa is definitely not happy about the way that uh, Lilith has treated her. So look, they're arguing about parenting because she's not happy about what she's had to put up with. Which is really harsh because like Emma has raised Lilith as like a single parent as well. But these ladies previously had a good relationship. But maybe not so much anymore. <gasps> she's bad. She's mad because she lost the argument. Yes, Emma, you are a good parent. Don't listen to what she says. You are a good parent. You raised Lily Bear all on your own. Look at her. She's telling her what's what. You go, Emma. You literally go, Emma. Look how young and cute she looks as well. Literally so young and cute. Does not need to put up with this from Elsa. This is still your man. That's who Elsa is. You tell her, Emma. Oh, and the kids are home. The kids are home. I think Lilith would be super happy to see her mum. And Lilith is actually going to love that her mum's taking her side in this. She's like showing her, look, look, here's the angry text she was sending last night. And they're having a good old laugh about them. You guys. And then she'll be showing her pictures of how, how much rage she was in last night. You guys are cheeky. And then they're taking one together. Oh, for God's sake, you guys. Look at her. I hate them. I hate them. Oh my gosh. These guys really don't like each other. <laughs> They're like, they went over and tried to have a nice chat and then it just devolved into more arguing. There's a lot of hatred between these two ladies. 
Also, can we talk about the fact that Max definitely has a thing for blondes? Okay, Emma, I think you need to leave now because you're just kind of making things worse. In fact, I think you're going to get us to leave. Oh, she's really angry now. Why are you angry now? You're extra angry from aggravating conversation. She just like, yeah, can you just get away from my house? So the relationship between these two is now pretty horrific. Don't! <gasps> She's literally just wanting to go shout forbidden words at her because that's like her current, her current like thing that she wants to do. And she has. She's gone and shout. Look at Emma just like, what did you just say to me, lady? What did you just say to me? Oh, man. This is, this is pretty broken so far. This is definitely pretty broken so far. If you can get Emma riled up like that, who put up with Max for like, what, four years or whatever, then you're doing a good job. Meanwhile, Max is sleeping like a perfect little baby angel. Meanwhile, these guys are still being big cute. See, Lilith just like slap him on the head. Aww. They're so cute. It's sad that they didn't get the chance to like grow up together in the same house. But at least they're all cute together now. They've got like the same like kind of tease each other sort of humor as well. They are definitely both Max's children. So I kind of thought maybe Elsa would come back like pregnant or something from the aliens. But I actually think that only happens to male sims. Weird, I know, but I think only male sims can actually get pregnant. Oh, Max has woken up and started blowing kisses as well and stuff at this one. And of course, Elsa. Elsa cannot resist him. So I think maybe, why don't we cook a nice meal in the house today? Kind of like a pre-Christmasy meal. Elsa, ch cook something up really nice for everybody and we kind of make amends for everything that went on yesterday, which wasn't great. Also today a little bit too. And then these two cute, two little cutie pies are watching TV together. In fact, Max, why don't you come over and, uh, oh, oh my gosh, I clicked on Elsa. We just like wanted to try for a baby with the TV. Come and sit here so you can have a little chat with these guys as well. Elsa's doing a little bit of a cook in the background for everyone. I don't know why uh, Lilith's in a bad mood still there. Maybe she's in a, just in a bit of a bad mood from Elsa. I kind of feel like someone should help her cook, but she seems to have it under control, sort of. I mean, her Christmas dinner seems to consist of some grilled cheese sandwiches, but... And wow, she's actually just dropped the salt and pepper in the pan. Don't think I didn't see that, Elsa. I actually did see that, okay? And now she's put, just, just throwing it on the oven and she's trying to put it back in the pan without anybody noticing. Please don't tell me that's it. Because that we can't just have grilled cheese sandwiches. No, no, no. Cook something better than that, okay? Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! No, 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 no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Can we extinguish him? Get outside, get outside. Can you Max extinguish a child? Oh, Ruth is it! How the Oh my god! Oh my god! Can I get I'm gonna have to get people outside? Go here! Go here! Go here! They're gonna die! They're gonna die! They're gonna die! Oh my god! Oh my god! Extinguish yourself! Extinguish it! Oh my god! What kind of a fire is this? The kid is- the kid's not fight. Get outside! Get outside here right now! Get outside! Lilith, get outside! Lilith, get outside! Go here! Quick! Max! 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 Max is on fire! Max is on fire! Is the kid on fire? The oh my god, get outside. Elsa's died in a fire. Max, oh my god. Max is gonna die, Max is gonna die. Oh my god. Max, please tell me you can extinguish yourself. What kind of a ridiculous fire was that? Has he done it? How is he gonna get out of there alive? How is he gonna get out of there alive? Elsa's... What kind of a fire is that? Should I send one of them in to go and extinguish him? What do I do? I don't want Lilith to die. <gasps> Wait, Lilith, call the fire, call the fire brigade, call the fire brigade. How can she call the fire brigade? There's no option. The fire is on the whole lot. How am I supposed to call the fire brigade? Guys, what do I do? What do I do? I can't call the fire brigade. Can I get them to travel? I can't call. <gasps> Oh my gosh, Max, please be able to extinguish yourself. And then I'm just gonna have to make sure they don't go anywhere near the fire. Aspirate. Wait, Max, get out of there, get out of there! My evil is much more fun than good. Max has taken. Max has completed his aspiration, but the whole family is gonna die if I'm not careful. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get here! But, right, those two are in a group, the kids are in a group, so go here together. Can we get Max to go here as well? I don't see how Max is gonna make it out of there alive. Honest to God, 
Get out of that fire right now. Max! Max, you're gonna set on fire again! Max, please! Please, please, please! Please! Get here! Go! Go, 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 go! Oh my god! Oh. No! Oh! Extinguish yourself! Lilith! Lilith, you're gonna have to save your dad! Extinguish him! No! No, 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 no! Extinguish yourself! Oh my god! Lilith, can you do it too? Oh my god! Oh my god! I actually can't believe this is happening. What on earth? The whole of. Max! Max, are you re if you run back into the fire, he's. What is the route to safety? No, the route to safety is to get as far away from that lot as possible. Like, how far can I get them? Can I get them to go here? Can I get them over here? Let's get into this park. Get into this park. Get into this park. Okay? Go here. Go, 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 go. All of you, get here right now. Forget the fire. Forget the route to safety. Just get away. Matt, it's because of the Grim Weeper. It's because Elsa's in there. Oh my god. The whole of the house is on fire. The whole of the house is on fire. The Grim Reaper is on fire. The Grim Reaper is trying to extinguish the fire on the lot. Are they all here? Is everybody safe? Is everybody safe? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn off autonomy because I don't want them to go back. What kind of ridiculous fire was that? Off, 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 off. Oh my god. How, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna be able to do? You can't do- How are you supposed to get rid of the fire on the lot? Can somebody tell me that? Because I can't call. I can't call or do anything. This interaction is unavailable because there's a fire on the lot. Okay. You guys add them all into a group together. I can't. All I can do- Okay, I don't think they're gonna move though. I don't think they're gonna move. This is the lot. This is actually the house right now. The whole- thing is on fire. The whole thing is on fire. Like, if I'm not careful, Sims walking by are gonna die as well. And Salma is right there. Salma always does this running route. I saw it all the time on Broken Dream. Like, that fire is not gonna go down for a really, really long time. <gasps> Roxy is here! Roxy is here! Oh my god, Roxy, you get away from that place. You get away from that place right now. Roxy! That is the most insane- that is the most insane fire I've ever seen, and Roxy is right there. Oh my god, Roxy, I can't tell her to do anything. I can't tell her to do anything. Please keep running, Roxy. <gasps> Emily, is there a tree? What are you doing, Mikey like Shane? Why would you just be doing that outside the house on fire? What is wrong with you guys? What is wrong with you people? Please tell me that they won't walk into the lot. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about the fact that the world is burning and we are in hell. The Grim Weeper is making no dent on this fire at all. Please, can you work a little bit harder there, Grim Weeper? Okay, Roxy is gone. Salma is gone. Emily, please to God, can you just leave? Can you just leave right now? Oh my- I've got a headache. I've literally given myself a headache from screaming. Emily, please get away. Thank God I got all at least these guys away. They're all just stood there on like- these two were on fire. Like, literally, Lilith saved her little brother and she saved her dad. Look at Max, he's just like, I can't believe what's just happened. I can't actually believe what has just happened. Look at this. Look at this. What sort of a hellish screenshot is that? Lilith saved her father and her brother, but the whole lot is in flames. The whole lot is in flames. Apparently, like, Elsa could not cook. Could not cook and poured petrol over the whole place. Look at this, very sad morning from witnessing the death of a loved one. But also near misery, so he's happy. Well, he's not gonna have that for much longer because he actually has completed this. Aspiration completed. Evil, look at this. Evil is much more fun than good and Max has taken that to their cold calculating heart by achieving his desire to be public enemy. He's earned the mastermind trait. He can do new mean interactions, but I always said that if Max managed managed to complete that trait, then I wouldn't make him continue to be evil. He instead would be could become a good sim. So that is what I'm gonna do, but only when this fire ends, which I can't see it doing anytime soon. <gasps> the fire is going out in places. The Grim Weeper's watching TV. The TV is fine. How is the TV still fine? 
They've been there for like literally days. Literally days trying to put this fire out. Well, a day. They've been there for a day, but the fire outside is still so strong. But bits of it are starting to go out. I'm so scared of them catching fire. Literally so scared of them catching fire. They just keep trying to extinguish it from the edges. That's as close as I will let them get though. But I do think it's slowly, slowly starting to go out. I think. I think it is. I don't make time go fast in case one of them catches fire and I don't notice it. Just keeps respawning again. What sort of mentalist fire is this? Also, the Christmas tree burned to the ground, but this is fine. <laughs> the bunk beds are absolutely fine. Elsa is there, like, in some ashes on the ground. There's ash all over the house, but the TV is fine. That is actually hilarious. Okay, I think slowly the fire is starting to slowly... Slowly go out. Luckily Abel went to school or else I'd be really really worried about him dying as well. Come on Max, I know you're sad, but let's try and extinguish this fire, okay? Okay, I would say 70% of the fire is out now. The bit that they are trying to extinguish is the bit that's not going out. I'm not sure what that says about their extinguishing skills, but it's not a great sign, is it? Abel is back home from school. Okay, Abel, Abel, where are you? Okay, the, the school is smart. They've actually dropped him off one house down, which is great. Come on, guys. Get rid of this fire. Okay, the fire... <laughs> the fires outside are still there. But the house seems to be safe. So I'm at least sending everybody back into the house. Salma's back again. Please let my like, NPC sims just stay well away. Salma, get away from that place. Because the... the Fire is like, actually on the road now. No, 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 no. Abel. Abel, no. You need to just... Some of the presents did survive the fire. Abel, get back inside the house. Get back inside the house. Elsa Villarreal, RIP, is there. You guys just stay inside. Stay inside and see if this all blows over. Look at this as well. Even though he's sad and mourning, he still has the urge to be mean to Elsa. I also can't interact with the Grim Weeper at all because of the fire. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this pause. This is mean to, like, laugh. But it's quite a funny, weird sight, isn't it? All three of them, two of them just totally charred with ash, just being like, this is really sad. Look at the house. Look at the house. My God. All the Christmas decorations around the oven. I bet that's what caused it to light up so much. This is why we need Sim Seasons, because then um, it would just rain and stop all the fire. <gasps> Look at this. He's got the widower from losing a true love. Fewer things are sadder than spouses that are separated by death. The fire's gone out. The, eight, the Villarreal's received 3,711 simoleons as an insurance payout for the items that were damaged in the recent fire on your lot, which is everything. Everything has been damaged. Our Christmas decorations, gone. I can turn on, um, where is it gone? I can turn on autonomy again since, you know, they're not gonna explode in flames anymore, which also means that they can cook food. Although I don't know if, the, I don't know if the fridge actually burned down or not. Oh, the bookcase did, no, the fridge has. We're gonna have to replace some stuff so that they can eat. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the house is a mess. I don't know how long this guy is gonna stay here now as well, but if he can just go, that would be great. I don't know how you get him to leave, but he's still here. Oh, poor little Lilith is trying to make Max feel better. Max is like ruined. Imagine seeing like your wife die in front of your eyes. Oh, they're desperate for a toilet. I wonder if the toilet's burned. Oh, the toilet burned. Okay, I have to replace that too. Weird things survived and weird things did not survive, but at least those guys have still got each other. And the Grim Reaper. <laughs> <gasps> the poor things, they're chatting about everything that's happened. Oh my gosh, poor little Abel. Abel literally watched his mother burn to death in front of him. He was such a nice, happy kid. I don't think he's going to be a nice, happy kid anymore. I actually think he's probably going to go down a very disastrous route. And what are they going to do? Their house is like burnt to the ground. This is their house now. Like, they can't stay here. They can't stay here in the house. With a mother burned to the ground. Okay, there's one thing that I have to do that I promised you guys I would do. If Max managed to complete his aspiration, I promised you guys that I would let him select a new one. He's not on the life of deviance anymore. I think we either put him on the path of love, where he has to search for his soulmate, 
Or we put him on the path of family where he becomes a super parent. What do you guys think? Super parent or love? Oh, it's tough. I don't like to be a super parent. He'd have to have another kid. I don't know if he'd, he'd want to have another kid. I think he should find a soulmate. He lost, he lost his wife. He deserves to find love. So I'm going to change that. And also the thing that I promised you guys I would do. We're going to take away Max's evil trait. It's a very sad way to do it. I was not expecting to do it this way, but I promised you guys I would. So here we go. Oh, look, I didn't, I didn't realize Max's actual aspiration in life was to find a soulmate, but he will lose his evil trait and okay. it will be replaced with, what did we say? We said he'd get the good trait. So <laughs> it is replaced with good. So we're probably going to see a very, very different Max. A good Max that's actually nice. He's still going to be a genius, and he's still going to be materialistic, but he's not evil anymore. <gasps> oh my gosh, the Grim Weeper just disappeared. So at least they've got that going for them. And let's... Oh, I think Max is going to go use the toilet first. Lilith, you can use it afterwards if you can make it. Yep, she's made it. And let's replace some of the stuff in the house for them. The, the PC survived. Wow. I was not expecting that, but we've got an insurance payout, so we may as well replace some stuff. I don't really think it's going to quite cover it, but... Oh it's my so gosh. We can at least try and give him a little bit of his home back. I mean, that just says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> a black Christmas tree. There you go. Let's try and get things a little bit cleared up before Abel comes home. Because I don't know how Abel is going to recover. Look, the bed. The bed, the dresser. Oh my gosh. All these little things that were in the house. They're just piles of ash. Half of it is unsav unsalvageable. And let's move her outside into a gravestone. There she is. Little old Elsa. She had a horrible episode, to be fair. A, literally a horrible episode. Look at the ground. The ground is still singed. And Max, Max is pretty devastated, guys. I think it takes quite a long time to get over something like this. Poor Max. Literally poor Max. He's devastated, you guys. Oh, the poor thing. The poor little baby. There we go. Poor Elsa. There she is. Oh, Ali's come round. Has Ali heard? Oh, and now little Abel is home too. Oh, and both of them are mourning her. Oh my gosh. This little, this little guy, I don't think is ever going to be right, you guys. He is literally like mini Max. And both of them are super, super sad. I guess the only, the only shining light from this is that Max is no longer going to be in an evil sim. But it's going to take him a very long time to get over it. Clearly, clearly it's going to take them a long time to get over it. One sim who seems less sad. Oh no, I say that. I actually think she's coming over to mourn her too. Where's she gone? You didn't even like her. You literally didn't even like her. Oh no, she's raging. That's her way of mourning and being hungry. I was going to say, you guys didn't even get on. Don't pretend suddenly that you're really sad about the fact that she's died. You can probably make this poor little bean feel a little bit better about things, though. Oh, Oh, she's consoling him about his death as well. She, don't forget that Lilith actually saved both of their lives, too. So, guys, that... <laughs> That was a broken Christmas. I told you guys, broken dreams episode, uh, broken dream episodes were always action packed, crazy mentalness. And this one has been absolutely no exception. I can't believe the size of the fire on the lot. That has literally blown my mind. Look, Lilith's high school performance is poor from spending days at home. One, trying to help Max put out the fire, saving Max and Abel's life. And then also being at home to look after Max after everything that went on. They're all shattered. They're all just going to go into bed and to cry. Even Max is in bed having a little cry for himself too. So guys, the curse is lifted. But will Max and Abel ever be the same again? What is the next step that we take in their lives? How do they recover from what has happened to them? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I think this is probably the saddest Christmas that Abel could ever have. Apparently... Elsa wants to know if I want to meet her someplace. No, you're dead. You're dead. Why Why would I want to go swimming with a ghost? What is even going on there, you guys? Oh, Lilith's gone to go nap next to Max to make sure he's okay. I mean, it has brought them two a lot closer together, but 
Hopefully you guys like this pretty extreme episode of Broken Dreams Broken Christmas Special. Let me know what the next step should be for the lives of these two very sad little Simlarinos. And I'll see you guys in another episode of The Sims 4. Don't forget to head to my Twitter for the Festive Friday competition so you can get yourselves this very snazzy little Nokia 8. And I'll see you guys in another episode. Bye! Ship